Hey guys, uh, get my full unfiltered show the way you can't here on YouTube by visiting thecomicsgym.com. It's free and totally uncensored. Human rights violations by Pelosi and company is the headline I wrote. There she is covering a, hopefully a fucking big cancerous malignant lump on her Adam's apple. Dozens detained in federal prison awaiting trial following the January 6th breach of the U.S. Capitol building. They're being subjected to solitary confinement, a lack of required medical care, and restricted access to defense counsel. Sounds like America to you people? Uh, that's according to two attorneys and the uh, father of one of the defendants. You fucking believe what's going on? What the hell's going on? I think they call it socialism. Lawyers John Pierce and Stephen Metcalf II, who represent several of the defendants, told Epics TV, The Nation Speaks, that's the show, that among uh, the close to 500 so far arrested in connection with the January 6th incident, more than 50 are being held pre-trial in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day in conditions that are unconstitutional and violate every single basic human right. So what are you doing about it? Can I just, a word to the right, um, if you think you're going to win this with fucking lawyers and going through the legal system, which is all stacked with liberal judges and shit, you're having a wet dream. I hate to say this, but it's not hyperbolic on my part. It's going to take literally violence. I'll say it now, and I'll be right a year from now. You really think you are we gonna? Oh, we gonna win the 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 midterms, and oh, that'll do it. We'll get more people in the House and the Senate. <laughs> They're only gonna get more angry and mean. Put up your fucking dukes. That's the path we're headed down. And if you don't believe that, you're watching uh, Chuck Todd every Sunday and whacking it. They're being denied their basic human rights in a prison right in D.C. Oh, the irony. So anyways, uh, yeah, these judge, these uh, lawyers are uh, fucking pissed, so. Hear ye, hear ye, the court's in session, the court's in session now. Here come the judge, here come the judge. I bet you he's black or she black and white. Pierce said uh, these individuals are being detained by federal judges over the 1984 Bail Reform Act, which under certain circumstances authorizes pre-trial, excuse me, pre-trial detention if it's believed the individuals are a threat to the community or a flight risk. Meanwhile, all the uh, fucking scum that was burning down uh, buildings, destroying businesses, burning down Wendy's, killing people, they get bailed out and they're not a risk. Not even in jail for a couple of hours. You hear that? That's how bad it is. It's spreading here to Georgia. Um, can you imagine? They're treating these people. They're a flight risk. There are about 50 uh, plus or minus that are being detained that have been in prison for months and will likely remain in prison for many more months until their day in court, Pierce said. Ned Lang, the father of defendant uh, who who he said is receiving particularly harsh treatment, said his son Jake is currently detained in a Washington prison in an area called The Hole. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's a seven-pound uh, asbestos lump from the kitchen. <laughs> uh, uh, the Hole isn't really an area. When I watch prison shows and stuff, it's really, uh, well... I guess I'm going back to the prisons like in the movies in the 60s. So it's a, you know, it's a shed out in the middle of nowhere and it's 112 degrees in it. But same thing, fucking. Anyways, he's in a fucking hole. This is the United States of America. Jake has no access to when his attorneys uh, goes down and talks to him. He has no access to a private interview with an attorney. Uh, this is his father talking, saying it's, it's like a third world country. A third world country. These people from shithole countries come here. Yes. The shitholes. The shithole. Shit. DC shithole. Shithole. Swamp. Shithole. Swamp. Shit. Shithole. Swamp. Asshole. Fuck stain. It's unbelievable, the father said. Son being true. From what he's telling me and what I'm hearing, it's a solitary confinement, 23 hours and one hour a day, they get to go out. It's horrible. 
These are Americans. We have individual rights. We have our Bill of Rights. This is inhumane treatment, and he's goddamn right. Who's an animal? Your mother's an animal, you son of a bitch. Oh. I'm being told, listen to this. The father's still, this is what his son's telling him. Oh, this is Metcalf. I'm sorry. Um, I'm being told the water is black. He has to filter the water through a sock in order to even drink the water. In addition to only uh, going out one hour a day, there's also the weekend when he doesn't get to go out at all and he's not able to use a shower, get a shave for days on end. So what are you doing about it, counselor? With a crazy eye, counselor. I'm keeping an eye out for him. These conditions uh, for pretrial detainees, he said, are unusual. The conditions in the D.C. jail in particular are getting to a point of not only being unconstitutional and violating every single basic human right, but they're getting to a point where people have to speak out and they have to know about what's going on, he said. Yes, attorney. True. Medcalf accused authorities of instilling a level of fear in all of the inmates but added that it's unclear who's to blame for the conditions. Oh, it's very clear. They're at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Unfucking fucking You guys, first of all, he didn't win the election. <laughs> I think it's playing out in real time. Set aside his dementia and losing his mind. And that Kamala Harris, the vice president, has... Fucking no business being anywhere near national politics. Um, and, you know, us uh, at each other's throats. I, I think it's, has there ever been a worse six months, uh, first six months of a presidency? <laughs> Rhetorical question. Anything that they do, or if anybody speaks up on their behalf, all of a sudden they get targeted even further. And then they get put into a dangerous, unsanitary condition, the attorney said. This is like being in, you know, a prison in Turkey. Testifying at an oversight hearing held by the House of Representatives Judiciary Committee last month, FBI Director Christopher Ray, this guy is part of the deep state. It's been proven over and over again. Um, Ray said the FBI had divided the thousands of protesters who were at the Capitol on January 6th into three groups. I wonder, I couldn't believe you could count that high. A first group of peaceful, maybe rowdy, <laughs> wow, that sounds official, uh, protesters who didn't participate in the breach, and uh, they made up the largest group. A second group who engaged in criminal trespassing of the Capitol building, and a third group the smallest in number who were responsible for carrying weapons into the Capitol. Can I ask you a question? It was reported a hundred times that nobody had weapons. Unless you count the pair of scissors the guy had. Seriously, nobody had guns. And they're treating this. It's unbelievable, man. Uh, I read an article. Somebody that works at Bloom. Who the fuck was comparing? No, Matt Dowd. He's on ABC, half a fag in my opinion. Uh, he's married to fucking uh, Marie Schreiber, I think now. I don't know. Anyways, he's he was comparing January 6th. He was saying it's worse than 9-11. He actually said that because it, it divided our country so bad and we're still hurting from it. He actually said that. That somewhere with a protest where one person, an unarmed woman, got killed. And a few other people had heart attacks. He's saying that was worse than 3,000 people almost being disappeared on, Jan on fucking 9-11. Just think about that for a second. This guy's on TV every weekend. Matt Dowd, big girl. Close to 500 arrests have been made so far among those in second and third groups, uh, Ray told the committee. The Department of Justice previously stated that the majority of the cases are related to entering a restricted building. Jesus Christ, I did that in high school every time I was drunk. Uh, obstruction of an official proceeding and civil disorder. That's what the charges are, most of them. The FBI director also testified that the law enforcement agency considered the events that uh, unfolded on January 6th to be an act of domestic terrorism. Of what? Domestic terrorism. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with your terrorism.
domestic te- yeah, a bunch a bunch of housewives and their husbands and a few angry Trump supporters. Supposedly they're going to form a committee to get to the bottom of it so we can find out how many how many uh, FBI confidants were in there, uh, informants and and uh, snitches, and uh, maybe they'll tell us who shot. What's his? You know, Ashley Babbitt. Think think we'll hear any of those answers? I doubt it. Oh, look who's back! When asked by Representative Eric Swallows, good come well. Matt Damon. You know the guy like Matt Damon. I fuck Chinese spies. Matt Damon. I only tell fuck Asian girls because they used to small dicks. Matt Damon. This guy ought to be put to sleep. Uh, anyways, when asked by Rep. Eric Squawl, douchebag, California, whether the events could be considered an insurrection, Ray said it would be inappropriate to describe the breach as such. So what was it, trespassing? And that's why they were in fucking solitary confinement for the last six months? Hey, guys, watch the full episode of the Nick DiPaolo Show uh, for free on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android, iPhone, Android Mobile, or on your computer for free by visiting thecomicsgym.com or downloading the Comics Gym app.